finally. Filming so many intros. Finally got myself a holiday. And I don't have to deal with I need Starting off the news this week, astronomers have captured a brilliant image of two spiral galaxies in the midst of a collision, NGC 4567 and NGC 4568, also known as the Butterfly Galaxies. The image was captured by the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii and shows the two galaxies intertwined in an event that will eventually lead to their combining into one galaxy in about half a billion years. Observing such occurrences may be quite useful for us, as our own galaxy is due to collide with our closest neighbour, Andromeda. Not something that any of us are likely to see, however, as that particular collision will happen in around 5 billion years. And just a quick story to mention, NASA has been celebrating the 10-year anniversary of the groundbreaking Curiosity rover this week, which landed on Mars back on August the 5th, 2012. The primary mission was intended to last just under two years, but Curiosity will no doubt be operating for years to come, providing even more incredible data on one of our closest neighbours. And in the paleontology news this week, we also have a paper describing the discovery of many more bones belonging to the giant stork species that inhabited the island of Flores, alongside the small human species Homo floresiensis, famously nicknamed hobbits. This enormous bird had been considered to be flightless by previous researchers, but these new discoveries have uncovered that the wing bones were actually relatively robust and well-developed, proving that they were in fact probably capable of active flight. The ancestry of this species was also investigated, with it being shown that they likely descended from a Pleistocene dispersal of an even larger stork species, Leptoptylos falconeri into Southeast Asia, resulting in the establishment of several island-dwelling populations of giant storks. These islands could also have acted as refuges for these storks, the study says, as the most recent fossils of the giant stork species come from these localities. That's it from us this week, I do hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on Sunday for the first episode of our South Africa series.